for the ladies with the straight eyelashes. This one's for you, okay? <laughs> So I don't normally do anything remotely even like this. This is way close up. I don't normally get this close to the camera. Side note, I broke my low key, low kai, low whatever bracelet. This is how much it's hanging on by right now. It's literally hanging on by a thread, but I will not let that impact this video. Today, today we're gonna be doing lashes. And I freaking, I brought out the film case in honor of this video. So today we're doing the only thing that I know how to do this is like, this is like the only thing. This is my only makeup thing that I will act like I know anything about. I don't know anything about makeup. I don't at all. It hurts me, but it's fine. But this one thing, I can own this. And that is my lash routine. It's so good. We're gonna take a look at my eyelashes right now. I have bad jeans when it comes to eyelashes, um, curl-wise. Let's see how close I can get to this. As you can see, my eyelashes, they actually look better than normal. Normally, they're more down. My eyelashes grow not just straight out, but like a little bit down. And that has always been frustrating for me. I've always tried to get them to have a little bit of curl. I've gone through thousands of curlers and, um... Nothing ever really worked. The only things that I use, everyone probably already has these things. I have my eyelash curler. That's pretty standard. You can buy one from e.l.f. for like probably a dollar. I just have um, a mascara. I got this at Sephora for the first time with Jude and I really liked hers so I got one too and I've bought a few of them since. What they told me at Sephora, I bought it specifically to curl but the way that they told me to use it didn't work for my eyelashes. I've never met someone that goes as hard on their eyelashes as I do because I want results. Within the past two years, I finally got this down. This one you probably don't have. If you don't, you probably could spend like a dollar on it or you can hit up Sephora and um, take one of their little tester things. That's where I get mine. It works perfectly. I've had people ask me if I have lash extensions. <laughs> no, 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 no. If I spend a lot of time not trying to flex or anything, I've never had lash extensions and I don't want to get lash extensions because if they're too heavy, if I can't do this routine, I'm afraid my lash extensions are gonna be, I'm gonna have like forks for eyelashes. So basically I'm sticking to this routine. I'm probably gonna do this till the day I die. This is all the things that I've collected and have done for about two years now. It works, it works on my friends. For the last time, let's just get into this. This is the most up close and personal I've ever been in one of my videos. This is gonna seem really redundant. You have to repeat steps over and over again, but if you keep repeating them and the longer that you repeat them, the more dramatic your result will be. There's literally only three steps to this process. Before you curl your hair, you brush it. Before I do my eyelashes, I like to brush them and as I'm brushing them back brushing it so that I can get all of my eyelashes it kind of just starts to lift them up kind of going back and forth I just want to get to the base of my eye I want to get all the way to like the eyelid like it's gonna kind of scratch a little bit I think I've been doing it for so long that I don't feel it anymore so you can't really see like a difference right away but I've tried these steps individually and it's just not the same effect if I try to rush through it it just doesn't work the same after I do that then I um I've used an eyelash curler for my my whole life but I use it differently than I did whenever I first started doing it so it is different in my opinion I might already be doing this so out of my element right now I can't stress that enough times I start at the base of my eyelashes whenever I go to curl I make sure I get all of them in I just kind of keep pulsing it and I'll keep it here for a while and then once I do that I don't take it off and then I go up a little bit up my eyelashes and I go again a little bit less than before to do the top I line up all of my top eyelashes. I'll typically go back down to the base again just to make sure that they're up and I try to get as close to the base of my lash line as I possibly can. I kind of angle in my eyelash curler like this. <laughs> it looks kind of weird but this is just how I do it. I'm gonna like probably line up my eyelashes a little bit better. They can get a little um, mangled whenever you're curling them. So now I'm gonna do the tips. Okay and then I go back to the base. Even now just take a look at the difference. This is what I do. I just keep perfecting my eyelashes. It's a long process it's really as much time as you want to put into it I alternate now and I go base and then I go middle so you want to make sure that the last one you do is right here so then your eyelashes go like this instead of like this you're gonna be able to see the full curl after this 
and you can take a look for yourself. I'm gonna do the other one. You don't need to see the left eye. You can't even see my eyelashes yet on this one. So now I did both eyeballs. It's time for mascara, and most of the time this is kind of weird, but I like to curl my eyelashes a lot more intensely because as the day goes on, as everyone knows, your eyelashes tend to fall a little bit. I'll do these first two steps, and then most of the time I'll go and I'll either pick out my outfit, like I'll do something in between, so then I'll have about five-ish plus minutes for them to naturally fall a little bit so then I can recurl them for the last time. I haven't tested if this actually works, but I just like to do this before I go to put on my mascara. Okay, so this is like the roller lash one. I hate that I did that so much. The reason I got this one was because they explained to me that the more wax that's in a mascara, the better that it'll keep your eyelashes up. I don't know how much of this is true. I have noticed that compared to my other mascaras, which I have like, I have this classic drugstore one. It's called Great Lash, and I use this one on my bottom lashes because I don't really care about the curl on those. If I were to use this, my eyelashes would fall way sooner. I don't know why. I think it's because it's a lot more watery than it is waxy, so the wax does help. I just need a lot of extra help, obviously, with my eyelashes being as straight as they are. Now, let's talk about the application. This is gonna go against so many people. I never ever put this at the base of my eyelashes. There, I said it. Because if I put it at the base, they completely fall down. Unconventional, but it works. The brush is pretty cool. So, we do the ends. We go maybe top middle to end of my eyelashes and we just go back and forth this is such a weird thing for me to be making a video of right now because i've never done this and i go onto the opposite side the underside this is whenever i tend to enjoy getting mascara on my eyelid okay and since this mascara is getting a little bit older i apologize it gets those little clumpies on it but no need to worry my thousand use spoolie will come into play right now and get those right out because it's um instead of being plastic it's little bristles Literally, this spoolie does everything for me. Now that we have the mascara on, let's compare. Here is the look at my eyelashes now. Not a huge difference, but like I said, the curling is really what does a lot of it because um, the mascara, in my opinion, doesn't do much. It's more of just the curling. Let me just do the other eye really quick, and then we can talk about this journey that we've taken. I don't know. They look pretty good. They're very, like, lifted. I don't have good words to use for this. I'm gonna just do um, my bottom eyelashes because I feel weird not completing this. I I spoolie them down. I do the whole back and forth motion. I just basically use whatever mascara my mom's gonna throw away and put that on my bottom eyelashes. It kind of just like balances out the top eyelashes. All right, so here is my finished product. This is how I've been doing my eyelashes for probably like the past two years. I don't know. Um, also, Hunter said that I need to start saying this, even though I really don't want to. <laughs> Please make sure if you like this video, you give it a thumbs up. And if you would be so kind as to subscribe to me. That would be great. I don't like asking for these things. It makes me uncomfortable. I would just really appreciate it. I've been trying to post as much as possible lately and keep my channel current. And if you want to comment, whatever, send this video to your grandma if you really want to. I don't know.